Good evening folks, my name is KR and welcome to the channel. This week we're going to take a look at Jimmy Johnson's 2014 Lowe's Red Vest Chevrolet SS for Hendrick Motorsports. Quite possibly one of the more underrated Lowe's special paint schemes. Yes, it may be just the Lowe's primary where they switched the blue out for some red, but my goodness, this is quite the nice looking die cast that we have. It does come with the Spin Master collectible box. Um, this quote unquote is the race win from Texas Motor Speedway at the fall of 2014, but as you can see, it's not really a raced version, but whatever. Of course, this car is most remembered for its victory in 2014 at the AAA Texas 500, but not a lot of fans talk about that. The fans talk about Gordon vs. Keselowski on pit road. Um, but anyway, that's a whole nother story. So the history behind this red vest paint scheme didn't really last that long. This paint scheme only appeared in three races between 2014 and 2016. The first, of course, being at Texas in the fall of 2014, where Jimmy Johnson led 191 laps en route to his fourth and final victory of the season. Then it came back in 2015 at the fall Charlotte race and unfortunately retired due to an engine failure. And finally, it appeared in Indianapolis in 2016. So, I know everybody talks about, like, the primary Lowe's cars, but, I mean, occasionally you'll get that special one, like this one, or the Daytona Yellow, where it just really, really looks good. Let's get that box out of the way just for one sec. Again, just this, um, I know a lot of people talk crap about the spin master molds but this actually doesn't really look that bad it actually looks really good um i don't think the camera does it justice but this red is just so vibrant and so bright i really wish that this red vest car stuck around for a few more races of course 2014 um Jimmy Johnson was the defending champion of the NASCAR Cup Series. His 2014 stats were four wins, 11 top fives, and 20 top 10 finishes to go along with one pole. Still pretty much prime Jimmy Johnson in those years. Of course, he won his seventh championship back in 2016, tying Dale Earnhardt and Richard Petty. Again, just a very simple but just a gorgeous looking race car so on the hood here you got Lowe's got Chevrolet SS Jesus if that won't roll away got Chevrolet SS number 48 Hendrick Motorsports and the Blaze Alexander Tribute logo does have Jimmy Johnson's name on the windshield banner along with two Chevrolet bow ties down the side, you got Lowe's, got Cobalt Tools, got my Lowe's in front of the rear wheel. Got Vaveline up on the C post. On the B post, you have Hendrick Motorsports, Exalta, Bosch, Freightliner, and Siemens. You can't really see it, but Jimmy Johnson's name is up there very tightly on the roof rail. Got your contingencies down the side, which, of course, there was a lot. On the rear bumper, you got Lowe's, got Chevrolet, Vavilay, number 48, and SS. Got Lowe's up on the deck lid, along with the roof. And everything, of course, is the same down the other side. For those of you new fans out there, you may ask, why the heck did they ditch the blue for the red? Well, plain and simple. If you haven't been to a Lowe's lately, they all have red vests. So that's basically the reasoning behind it. With that, that concludes this video. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. My Instagram is also under the same name of KR underscore diecast. And with that, I will see you all next time.